Ohio Democrat Congressman Tim Ryan back in 2019 pledged to decriminalize all drug possession. But now, running for the Senate, he wants to label fentanyl a weapon of mass destruction. You really can't have it both ways. And joining me now to talk about it, his opponent, Republican J.D. Vance, Ohio Republican Senate candidate. J.D., thanks for coming back on. You got some good-looking polls, but I want to talk about this. I mean, how can you decriminalize then and now all of a sudden say that fentanyl is a terrible thing? I don't get this. Well, Larry, this is really just a microcosm of Tim Ryan's entire campaign where he pretends to be one thing to the voters of Ohio, and then he governs in a totally different way when he's in Washington, D.C. It's he wants to decriminalize fentanyl. And, and you know this, Larry, but this drug has killed a lot of Ohioans because the cartels are trafficking it across the wide open U.S. southern border. Uh, he said he wanted to end cash bail. He called the police uh, systemically racist, the criminal justice system, the new Jim Crow. Now he says he supports law and order. So this is just the campaign that this guy is running. He's taking a lot of out-of-state Democrat money to try to rebrand himself as a moderate. Unfortunately for Tim Ryan, uh, those of us in Ohio were a lot smarter than he gives us credit for. That's why his campaign's not doing so well. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at some numbers. Six, uh, 65 kilograms fentanyl powder, 87,000 fentanyl lays pills, enough for 4 million deadly dosages. That's up on the full screen, J.D. I mean, this fentanyl thing, so when you talk about it, uh, are you able to trace it back to the open border uh, policies under the Biden administration? Because, see, I mean, right, so the raw materials come from China, packaged and processed in Mexico, and then up through the open border. Do people get that, J.D.? Is that, a, you know, is that an easy sell for you to make? Larry, pe people really do get it, and if you talk to local law enforcement, local sheriffs and so forth, they'll tell you that whenever they arrest a fentanyl dealer, if you just go one or two layers deep, uh, behind that dealer is actually a member of the Mexican drug cartel. So people really get this instinctively that Joe Biden and Tim Ryan's wide open border has really made those of us in Ohio less safe. And of course, we've got a whole generation of people orphaned by this problem. We've got a lot of young people who should be walking around who aren't because these guys won't do their job, Larry, and control that southern border. We've got to do It's one of the reasons why we've got to win and win big come November the 8th. And it's one of the reasons why I think we will, Larry. And, and by the way, if folks want to help us out or get involved, jdvance.com is the place to do it. And I assume, you know, all the cost of living issues from groceries to gasoline to home heating fuel, all that stuff is still paramount in a place like Ohio, whereas um, your opponent is a 100 percent Biden voter that caused the inflation in the first place. Uh, that's exactly right, Larry. So this is a guy who said he wanted to ban gas-powered cars by 2040, said that he wanted to ban fracking, which is one of the reasons why we have the terrible energy crisis that we have right now. And this just is common sense economic policies, Larry. You get this as much as anybody, but we have the oil and gas right here in our own country. We should use Ohio workers and Ohio hands to get it out of the ground and turn it into useful product for all of us. We should not be begging tin pot dictators in Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for what we have right in our own backyard. And if we did that, it wouldn't just create a lot of energy jobs for Ohio workers. It would also bring down the prices of everything because everything relies on energy in order to manufacture or to grow it. So it's good inflation policy to bring down that inflation. It's good job policy to create jobs. We just need to open up these energy markets. And Tim Ryan, who votes with Joe Biden 100% of the time, is one of the reasons why we have this terrible energy crisis. You know, on that last point, it's so important. We've been trying to say it on this show. The petroleum industry, refined petroleum products, petrochemical products affects virtually Everything everyday people use in the United States and to ban fossil fuels or ban petroleum is just as crazy as a three dollar bill. Uh, yes, absolutely. And I, again, I think this is something voters in Ohio understand instinctively. Farmers use fuel to grow their crops. They use fertilizer, which is based on natural gas. Of course, our truck drivers use diesel to get everything from one place into the stores that we buy it from. Everybody understands yep. that this energy crisis is a yep. core part of the inflation problem. We've got to get it under control, Larry. Good luck.